You know, now that I've been filming true crime videos where I wear actual clothes, I've been getting a little subconscious with like how much cleavage I'm showing. But then I think of my face paint videos and I'm like, Girl, do you realize how much skin you've already bared on the internet? <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nini. Welcome to my channel. I like to talk about makeup, face paint, and true crime, but not at the same time because that's not my jam. Today I have my first face paint video in a long time. My mental health has been just not in the place to face paint, even though it's weird because sitting down to do my makeup or face paint has always been therapeutic to me. There's something very relaxing about sitting here and creating a look, or even if I'm just putting eyeshadow on, there's always been something very relaxing in that to me. So you think it would have helped me out the past couple months. But I saw this look that Jodi Steele did. She is one of my favorite face and body paint artists. Not only is she super talented, but she does a lot of pieces in relations to mental health. Like she'll express anxiety, low self-esteem, depression, things like that through art. And she did this piece where it kind of looked like an earthquake. She said that can be your emotions causing you to crack. And I thought, one, it's a super cool illusion, but I'm like, that is is how I have been feeling these past couple months since my father died. I just feel broken and like a limb is missing. I'm trying to put the pieces back together and you know adjust to this new life without my father. So I thought I would give it a try. I feel super rusty sitting down here and picking up a paintbrush but we will see how it goes. I'm going to use this NYX contour palette for my shading and I'm going to start with the lightest brown shade to fill in all the areas and just ignore the red bits on my skin. It took me a few times to get the layout just right and I have very Irish skin that gets pissed off easily. Now I'm going to take a darker brown from that palette to define some of the edges using a Mayron black paint to black out part of my arm to help with the illusion. Going back to that darker brown to fill in some more of the shading. I'm using the dark brown from the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette to enhance some more of the areas that would naturally be a little bit darker. So any area that is closer together or any area that would create a shadow. Using a gray eyeshadow from that Warrior 2 palette to again further enhance some of the areas. Taking a black eyeshadow from the Warrior 2 palette to again further enhance some areas. Using a L'Oreal concealer to highlight the edges and help make them stand out a little bit more from the dark parts. Using a Mayron Paradise White on the inside edges to make it look like it has a little bit more texture. And this is the finished look. I'm going to link Jody's video below if you want to see somebody who can do the shading better than I can. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like. If you want to see more face paint, you can follow me on Instagram at Nini underscore underscore Marie. Or please consider subscribing to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.